Okay, time for a video blog. I uh, just started this when Jamie came through here and she started. I should have recorded that, but I didn't. Uh, let's see, then. Uh, got up today around 3 o'clock. I uh, didn't really want to get up, but I woke up. Wasn't really tired because I had plenty of sleep. I did hit the snooze button for about an hour and 45 minutes because uh, I planned on getting up and getting a lot of stuff done which obviously I never did because I hit the snooze button for an hour and 45 minutes but then I lay there and I'm like you know what I don't really want to get up I don't really want to go to sleep so I'm just going to lay here and do nothing so I, I sat there from like 3 to 4 played on the computer you know just laying in bed and I didn't get up then at 4 about I don't know about 4 I'm like no, it's like 4.30, from 3 to 4.30, I just laid there doing nothing but perusing the internet, trying to check up on my emails and stuff. Then around 4.30, I came downstairs so I could take a shower and get ready and go to work. 5.30. So I come down here, and I'm playing on Twitter down here. And it was cool. Some interesting conversation with people. And then I took a shower. Well, first I talked to my brother. Then I took a shower. Then I went to work. And work was slow. Kind of, I uh, first got there, like, we don't have to clock in yet, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, whatever. thought I was going to manage, but since this, uh, one of their daughters was, so I got to drive, which is better. I mean, more money driving. If I would have stayed there and worked inside, I would have made 24 bucks uh, for two hours. Instead, I made 48 in two hours. Much better odds, uh, much better money. It's always better to make twice the money. So, I mean, I went to work two hours, made 48 bucks. That's good. So, you know, that was cool. Because uh, Derek wanted to take a break, so I got to just clock on. And I got there at 5.30, but I didn't clock on until 5.50. And then I was out of there by 8.10. Actually, 2 hours and 20 minutes. So, uh, I would have made about 27 bucks. 28, 29, something like that. So, whatever. But, uh, so then I come home. Played on the internet some more. That was fun. Um, I Twittered uh, something to that Amy Mayo a couple days ago. She responded. That was pretty cool because she is like one of the greatest songwriters of our time. Seriously. She's an amazing songwriter. So I thought that was cool. And then uh, uh, then I went to go see a movie, you know. I went to go see uh, White Out with Kate Beckinsale. You know, who is a hot hey? She is so damn hot. I mean, serious. Have you seen her lately? Wow. And uh, the movie was okay. I thought it was going to be more sci fi. Like, there's like some monster there or something, or something there that drove people crazy. But it, it wasn't really that. <sighs> Tiredness sets in all of a sudden. But uh, it, it was a pretty decent movie. It wasn't what I thought, but it wasn't a total disappointment. Uh, you know, kind of cool. Uh, I was a little sad that uh, Kate Beckinsale did not get completely naked. She did show her in the beginning in her underwear, like a little sports bra. That was freaking hot. And then she did get in the shower, and you could see her body through like a foggy, you know, shower door thing. I'm thinking, you son of a bitches. Why are you going to do that to me? You know, I come here thinking there's going to be nudity. And the, not what I wanted. And there's some scene in, in the beginning where it shows some guys running across the thing, and oh, you can see their telly worker flacking, flapping around everywhere. But I can't see Kate Beckinsale boobs. What the hell's up with that, people? I mean, seriously. Well, I swell up on you. Oh, it pisses me off. And then, so uh, I was cool though. Vanna and her daughter met me there. Who's uh, if you're on Twitter, it's Automaniac. Why must I be so tired when I do a vlog sometimes? So, you know, at the movies, we went outside and we talked. God, it must have been like a half an hour just chit chatted about life and shit and stupid stuff and everything. And her daughter was there and uh, she was really nice. Uh, just talked about stuff and it was cool catching up. So, but I didn't have to go to the movie totally alone. So that was awesome. Uh, Trying to think what else. And then I come home. 
watch some stupid TV. Now I'm doing this, and we'll go to bed. And I have to get up tomorrow and go to the bank and stuff. I don't want to go to the bank, but I literally have to. Oh, excuse me, I literally have to go to the bank. I don't have a choice. I mean, you know, I can only keep my money saved up here for so long, and then every night I just have to put it in the bank, or stuff don't get paid, you know? I can't melt cash to pay bills. That's stupid. I mean, if I thought it was safe, I would, so I wanted to go to the bank, because I hate going to the bank. Bank sucks. Banks really do suck. Why is that light even on on here? I don't even need this light. Yeah, that's better. Sitting there blinding me, man. I don't even need that light. Why is it on? Ooh, all of a sudden I got cold chills. Ooh. Must be thinking about that whiteout out up in Antarctica. Why somebody goes up there is stupid, WD? Like 50 below zero? What the, what the hell is wrong with people? Why would you go there? That's stupid. Science ain't that dang all important, I don't think. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Kate Beckett sells up there, I'd go. Man. If I could whistle, I'd whistle right now. But I can't whistle. I don't know why I can't whistle. Just can't whistle. My brother worked on my car today. Uh, that was cool. Cost me 112 bucks, And I got part of it fixed. So, something for the airflow mass sensor or something. It tells the car when to do and when not to do something. It's still running rough, like it wants to die, but it doesn't die. See, it was dying. Like every time I'd stop or I'd let off the gas too long, like when I'm going around a curve or something, sometimes it would just die. And I had to throw it neutral and start it and try to, because you know, when a car dies, you lose power steering. So, you know, it'd be like, what the hell? And then, you know, I started back up and then I'd get power steering again. But it was dying like constant, man. It was driving me crazy. I thought I was going to kill somebody. It was horrible. <sighs> Damn. Tired. So, you know, there's that. And then, what else? Uh, uh, yeah, so it's still running rough. So I still need to get like an oxygen sensor and some spark plugs changed and everything. But Jeremy was like, well, let's do this first. I want to make sure. That's fixed, and then I want to put the computer on again. He's got the computers you put on the car, there's everything wrong with it. He wants to make sure something else wasn't popping up just because of that. And he wants to make sure they get something else out that might cause the new O2 sensor or if our to go bad again. He's like, don't change those to make sure that the thing that caused him to go out the last time is fixed. You know, maybe it was just a coincidence or something. I don't know. Hey, he's the one that works on cars, not me. He says, do this, I do this. Just like, you know, when something comes up to the computer, I'm like, dude, you need to do this? You know what? He just does it. Because I, I, I know this, and he knows that. So, it's just the way it works. So, uh, I got to do some stuff tomorrow. I got to take care of some stuff. I'm still trying to finish up the stuff where my truck was stolen, and they never paid it. I got one more paper to go get notarized. I got to get notarized like three different places. And then, send them that paperwork. Then it should be over. God, I can't wait. It has only been uh, two years. I mean, seriously, it's been two years. I just... How in the hell, man? What, and all it boils down to one thing. The insurance company didn't want to pay. Okay? They don't want to pay. So they held on to money that they owed the finance company for two years. You know? Collecting interest, reinvesting it, doing whatever they did with it. I mean, that's like thievery, man. I mean... The insurance company could have had that money. They could have invested it. Or the finance, they could have been investing it, drawing interest off that money. Basically, the insurance company stole from the finance company. So, so, I don't understand it. Crooked people, crooked people. There's so many crooks in this world. So, uh, Patrick Swayze died today. What the fuck, man? I love that dude. I mean, I love that dude. Red Dawn? That's a badass movie. Ghost? Roadhouse? Come on! I mean, come on, man. Dirty Dancing. Oh, God bless his family. They're all in my prayers, so... Wow, Patrick Swayze, man. People need to quit dying. Damn. Okay.